Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're installing Jitsi Meet along with Nginx Proxy Manager using Docker. First we'll install the containers, then we'll set up the proxy using a test URL from DuckDNS. After that we'll set up the app on my Android device and make a quick test call. It's pretty straightforward so let's get to it. First let's get logged into the server. Now that we're logged in, as always, the first thing we need to do is make sure everything is up to date. Now that everything is up to date, using the command in the description below, we can download the latest version of Jitsi Meet. Now we can see here we have a stable dash 9646 file, we just need to unzip this. It looks like I'm missing the unzip command here. We can install that. All right, now we can unzip this file. To another ls. We have a new Jitsi Docker folder here. Go ahead and switch into that folder. To another ls. And here are the files that we're going to be modifying. Jitsi Me provides us with an example environment file that we need to copy over to make it a live environment file. We can do this by using the cp command and then the file name and then the new file name. And now that we have our environment file, we need to open it up. Inside VS Code, we can just use the command code and then the new file name. And starting at the top, we need to adjust the HTTP port. I'm running portainer on this server, so 8000 is taken. Open up 8001. Line 31, we need to provide a public URL for Jitsi Meet. I've prepared a DuckDNS URL for this example. Go ahead and Control S to save this. And then now towards the bottom, we need to add some secure passwords for the different services for Jitsi Meet. Now, luckily, Jitsi has provided us with a script to do this. Go back down to the terminal window. And it's just the gen passwords.shell. And in the file, we can see that it generated the passwords for us. Let's just make sure this is saved again. And next, we just need to open up the Docker Compose file. Right down in the terminal window, we can use the command code along with the Docker Compose file. To make this a little bit easier, I have uh, created a new Docker Compose file over on GitHub. If you follow the link in the description below. And this is identical to the one that came out of the extracted zip file. The only additions are the Nginx proxy manager here at the top. And then we've added the Jitsi Meet web service to the proxy network so that we can access it through the Nginx proxy manager. And then at the bottom, we've added our networks and the volumes for our proxy manager and MariaDB. Go ahead and copy this. Back over to VS Code and just completely overwrite the entire Docker Compose file. After pasting in the Docker Compose file, scroll back up to the very top and be sure to update the Nginx proxy manager SQL password on line 13 and it also has to match the same thing on line 31. Just make it something more secure than nginx proxy manager underscore password. Once you've updated the password go ahead and save this file and then back down in the terminal window we can use the command docker compose up space dash d. Now that everything looks like it's up and started, we can browse over to our Nginx proxy manager and set up a proxy. Open up our browser. We'll head over to our server's address and it's on port 81. First login is admin at example.com and the password is change me. Requires you to change this at first login. Now that we're logged in, we'll go over to hosts and proxy hosts. We're going to add a proxy host and then add our domain that we added into the environment file. And the 
this is going over to our test server. I'll import the 8001 because I had to update this. Enable the options and four click save. We're going to go to SSL at the top. We're going to enable new SSL certificate. Enable these options except for the DNS challenge. Agree to the Let's Encrypt Terms of Services. Click on save. And we can see it up and running here. Got our SSL certificate and it is online. And now if we click on it, it should take us over to Jitsi Meet. And here we are. And before we start up a test call, let's go ahead and set this up on my Android device as the second participant. And here we are on my Android phone. I'm just gonna jump into the app store real quick. And we'll do a search for Jitsi. And we'll go ahead and install it. Now that it's installed, we'll go ahead and open it up. And before we can just type in the room name, we need to go down to settings and enter our own URL for our conference rooms. Once we've entered this, we can check mark it and go back to recent at the bottom. And now we can enter the room name. Let's switch over to my headset real quick. Okay, here I am on my headset. And we'll go ahead and dial in to our test call. You will need to give it permission to your webcam and microphone. Go ahead and make sure we have the right microphone selected and the right speaker. Let's go ahead and test this here. There we go. And we can go ahead and join the meeting. Hi. All right. Now that we're in on my desktop here, we'll go ahead and join it on my phone. And here we are. This is me on my desktop. It looks like we have clear video. Go ahead and mute my desktop here and we'll switch over to my phone. And mute my phone. And here I am on my phone. Since we have clear two-way audio, which is what we want. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.